so first of all I will open our Microsoft Word so to open your Microsoft first of all you have to install your software and how to install that software that are available also in our channel so the link and given in description also you can watch that so first of all suppose uh, you need to open a file new file so just you have to click here right click okay right click then here new so from new you have to just come here Microsoft Word document okay? Microsoft Word document there are three Microsoft Word document Microsoft PowerPoint presentation and Microsoft Excel I have just uh, installed that three one okay and uh, first of all so I will open Microsoft Word document so just click here now you will get an option here okay so just you have to uh, give your document name so just uh, suppose uh, when it is like that so you can just directly write it here otherwise just uh, suppose in like that way just select that after that press F2 then you will find that option otherwise just after on select on select I mean on click after some time click here for another okay so I mean uh, left click then you will find here so I'll just give a name school of civil engineering demo right so just uh, then right click I'm mean left click on your mouse or otherwise enter so there's our file so our file is ready and we have provide some name now we'll just click here double click to open that I mean uh, your you know that as a basic user of computer then you know that how to open that file so now we are here so this is our Microsoft Word so here just you will see that here is our uh, document name and here is our software name which software we are using word software Microsoft Word now here you are seeing that this is the ribbon okay this is the ribbon and here you see that this file okay then just one you will come here file then click here so that insert then design then layout then references then uh, mailing review view that is the common part of that software I mean that common ribbon of that software and uh, under every ribbon they have some subcategory okay so for in home is the font paragraph then a style so how will use that from here how will use that I will show you about everything one by one after that here if you come here insert then here insta uh, illustration after the table pages then there are many things I will show you about everything just in this video I am just uh, showing you that about the I mean I'm just discussing about that software after that uh, this is about design so here watermark page page border you can give it from here then layout after that here is the layout then references so this is the most important uh, thing uh, suppose you are write, write, writing a book or you are creating a thesis paper or journal paper then this here content table then insert table figure this is most important for you so I'll just show you that how we'll use that and also I'll show you a demo that how we'll write a uh, thesis paper here or journal paper here and which way we should uh, start after that mailing review so from here you can see your file review then view okay so uh, here after that uh, this is our writing page I can I mean page so from here we can just uh, write that just write it here and then yes, give a space by uh, clicking your space and if you want to go down then press enter just like that and if you are again uh, if you want to just write here and if you want to delete that then press back space okay so like that now uh, suppose uh, you have write something and you want to copy that okay so I'm just uh, showing you the basic th basic thing just select that how to select that just uh, take your mouse here okay or take your uh, just click here see that some line are moving here okay coming and here some line are coming so just uh, take your mouse cursor here and then le uh, left click then move your mouse like that so after that release your finger so let's see that you are seeing that uh, it's have uh, selected now copy that just right click 
okay then from here cut copy so like that otherwise if you just uh, if you don't want to do that so just press control then C control then C your file have copy so after that uh, suppose I uh, you want to copy your file here so after that press control then V here is your file control V otherwise you can come here where you want to paste it here then uh, right click okay click you know, I mean right click after that just give here the keep source formatting then here merge formatting and here keep text only so uh, suppose if you give it it will uh, copy everything from that text so just give here just see that like that way you can uh, copy that so now suppose you need to move that just click here cut after that where you want to move just paste it there just paste or control V okay so suppose you have done a work how will go back so by using that option you can go back just click here to go back and otherwise just click here this is undo okay this is undo and this is redo just like that okay just if you click here it will go back and if you click here it will go forward otherwise you can use your uh, keyboard shortcut so press ctrl then z then it's gone uh, the back okay it's it's gone back now suppose you want to select your wall files now uh, as usual you how will select just like that i mean uh, left click on your mouse then like that right left click on your mouse then like that you'll move your mouse but you can select wall file by using ctrl a okay like this ctrl a okay now uh, suppose you have done a work now you will i mean how will save that how will save your file to save your file just you have to click here the save option okay just click here save option otherwise you can uh, press ctrl s ctrl s then your file will be saved after that uh, suppose uh, here is your file now uh, you want to just uh, copy your all file then just press ctrl a then now if you want to cut i mean uh, when, when you use cut then every file will be removed from here i mean it will be copied from here but uh, your source file will be not available here okay so just click here cut so like that so uh, suppose uh, you have cut that accidentally just press ctrl z like that so uh, suppose it is selected now if you want to cut by using your shortcut keyboard actually when it will work as a professional then you have to know about that basic shortcut keyboard I mean um, keyboard shortcut and it will give you the very fast in your work okay I mean you will be very fast in your work so just ctrl x just see that ctrl x then uh, if you press ctrl v then it will be passed here ctrl v right ctrl v now it's done like that so otherwise uh, you can also select by uh, pressing ctrl c I have also told you then come here and then press console V like that your f uh, file will be pasted here so uh, it's done actually so in this way just you can uh, actually work here now in our next video I will show you about part by part about that software so uh, within some video I will try to show you about everything about that art software and this is our second lesson and in this lesson I am just going to show you that how we'll use Microsoft Word options so from here when you will open that file just you have to go here just click here file okay so from here click here file then you will get here many options so here is the info here is the new after that here is the new option I mean if you need any a uh, new uh, page then you can click here otherwise there have many types of uh, report file okay so you can also use that file I mean this is the template so they have many template okay so I think you can use that from here according to requirement so and if you need the blank document just click here after that if you have a, a file already you have already worked there just you can click open and from here you can select anyone okay otherwise you can browse from here 
after that just uh, click here to save your file simply again I'll go file then if you use save as okay if you use save as then how will use the save as option suppose uh, this is our uh, document now if you click save as when you will click save as you give here some option so here it will give you where do you want to save so it's uh, giving you that option current folder if you want to save that current folder or uh, desktop or otherwise uh, where you have worked that all folder are available here so actually I will just use the browse suppose I will use browse then from here I will uh, save that file in desktop now they have some option you can also uh, give it here the author name okay so you can give it after that they have tag and title after that save as save thumbnails you can also give that now this is the main option save as type so they have many types okay suppose uh, you are using Microsoft suppose I am using Microsoft 2016 version 2016 version but uh, I need to use that software in lower version okay suppose uh, in 2017 or sorry uh, 2007 or 2010 like that so how will you use that then you have to select that file in that format here word 97 to 2003 document format that it will use I mean it will open everywhere otherwise uh, you can save here there are many options you can use any of that now uh, if you want to save that file in document format just click here document after that here the document format and that's uh, they have another option optimize for uh, a standard publishing online and printing optimize for publishing online so I'll just uh, always will use the publishing online and printing because uh, this is the standard uh, format and it will be very uh, quality full uh, I mean it will give you the very quality full format but if you select that when you will zoom it your file will not be very good so I'll just uh, just if you save here it will save here just cancel after that uh, they have after that they have print option so I'll not use that option like at now then now share export close if you uh, click closer it will be close after that here is the important uh, the account so you can uh, click here and you can see that okay you can see that uh, from here I mean uh, your software is activated or not and which version you are using okay and for which version your license are available so they have the option where my license are available and from here also you can change your background okay so if you select that see that your uh, dark gray your uh, format will be like like that so if you select that white your format will be like that and if you select a colorful your format will be colorful okay so after that will come here option this is your main focus on that lecture so first of all has the general so has the user interface option so from here uh, you can use that option just or read it carefully now I will show you that personalize personalize your copy of Microsoft Office sub so, suppose you are working now what is your name actually so just you can give it here okay you can give it here and from here you can select the th uh, themes that what will be the themes here like that after that a startup option uh, let it default okay so uh, here is the important thing real-time collaboration option suppose you were collaborating uh, with your another friend or with your another partner in office so suppose actually when you will work a mega project or will work in a big industry or anywhere just you will get the option you will get the opportunity to work as col collaboration uh, I mean you will be able to collaborate with your other partner and it will also be collaborate with other because uh, suppose sometimes it's not okay or not easy uh, uh, to give them file I'm just working here I'm just giving that giving them that file actually not that just uh, you will open or you will uh, start working a file and you will collaborate with your other partner and he will see that file that how will how you are working or uh, what uh, till what you have completed your work in what you work here your partner will see that from another computer this is known as the collaboration so from here you can use that option okay so it's showing us when working with others I want to automatically share my chains just here always always means if you select that option it will uh, change automatically I mean they will 
see that automatically otherwise ask me this is better to use so if you uh, give it the ask me and will when you will now share with them then you will uh, I mean the software will ask you to give the permission after the display here the display this is uh, this is not also a important part or uh, if you think that uh, you can read it from here so after that there's a proofing so from here this is actually for our text format this is the auto correction option you can also click here and uh, from here you can change that so there have many option actually after that will come has save Th there have some important uh, topic actually automatically where you want to save your document so uh, from here uh, you are saying that this is the browsing link now here I will see you the one thing I mean all I will discuss about one thing is the save auto recover information every okay so this is the saving document system suppose you are working and you have forget I mean suppose you are using a PC and you have no so I mean uh, actually power backup so when the current gone then your PC will be automatically shut down then what will be you lost your every work okay and uh, suppose that uh, before you don't know when the current will switch off or electricity will switch off then you will be will face a big problem because your all work will gone so you can use that option so they have many options I mean automatically saving option so it's saying save auto recover information everything suppose if you use that option after uh, suppose I'm give here one so if I give here one that means my software I mean uh, that software will save my every work after every one minute okay after every side second I mean uh, here uh, it will use the saving option after 60 second and you will give here the I mean you will get that opportunity so after that uh, they have another option you can also read it here but this is the important I will always use that as a one after that language you can change here language okay keyboard language or another language than advanced so from here advanced just uh, you can use that ad advanced option from here okay from here you can use your or advanced option now just read it and you will understand about that actually now uh, this is the customize ribbon this is a ribbon and we can customize that so how will customize that suppose uh, that is the this is the most popular uh, shortcut and here suppose these are main tabs these are main tabs I mean our ribbons so suppose uh, if you think uh, if you think that uh, they have more um, I mean uh, they have more ribbon that suppose uh, if I consider that I I, I, I this is the mail uh, mailings so this option is not required for me so how will remove that just come here and select your mailing here mailing just untick it and then press ok it will gone okay so just click here so in this in the that way you can use that now another important the quick access toolbar here is the quick access toolbar if you can uh, save the quick access toolbar here for your work purpose so that you can do your work correctly quickly so there have um, some options save undo and redo the three are available here just see here now suppose uh, if you need something here if you need something here you can also select that suppose uh, from here what you need you just suppose if you need save as okay they have save and you need save as just click here uh, and say uh, select that after that add just see that your save as is available now you need to move it top so just select that and just click here just like that then press ok okay so after that add icon and here so our work is done so if I press ok now see that here is your changes save as tool okay so I will just uh, remove from quick access tool but that it is not uh, required actually at now so in this way just we can use our Microsoft options tool
we have started Microsoft Word tutorial series uh, in English and this is its lesson 3 and part 1 in this part I mean in this lesson I am going to discuss about that I mean uses uses of home tab I mean our home option and its subcategory are font paragraph and a style I have told you that I will show you about that home tab okay about that home uh, option that how we'll use that option and it's soft when you will click here on home then see that they have some soft category it's font paragraphs and a style and there have editing okay and uh, actually this is not associated with that uh, software I mean uh, Microsoft Office I have just installed that uh, for my grammatical check and after that it's here okay so first of all I will uh, start from one side so I'll just delete that suppose if I delete that just control a and delete now suppose this is a line okay here is a line and uh, here is a line now I'll just modify that by using that category okay now first of all if I show that this is your this is the font okay so suppose if I want to that I mean if I want to change that font style just uh, click here okay just click here and come here now which types of font you want to use here they have huge category okay from here just you have to select that suppose uh, I want to use that font just see here it will be like that okay so and also you'll see here uh, in that tab who is uh, I mean who is font you are using you'll see here now uh, here suppose you want to make your font like that so your font will be if I zoom that by clicking here just see here okay so again if you go here suppose Arial black just click sorry control Z just you have to select that just uh, left click and move your mouse then select that after that come here just here Arial black like that I mean about any condition you can just use that okay here like that just see here this is your font style now I'll again come back here calibre body so now just see here now uh, suppose you need to increase that font size okay I mean this is not suitable for your requirement so you, you want to increase its font size okay so and uh, for zoom in and zoom out you have to use that option plus and minus zoom in and zoom out so suppose uh, now you want to increase that font so just uh, at our which part you want to increase just you have to select that and from here you'll be able to use that okay you'll be able to use that so uh, about 20 72 you can zoom it okay from here about uh, 72 you can zoom it but if you uh, think that uh, you need sub suppose you need a font size that is not available here just simply just click here and back space, uh, back space and delete it and simply write here suppose uh, you need 13 just enter then see here like that suppose you need uh, 100 just enter just see there actually the you will be able to use it within 72 okay but uh, by writing here you can increase your size in any limit now suppose uh, this is your font size okay and suppose uh, if I provide that font size till 28 now I just want that my that font size and that font size ratio will be same okay 
that font size and that font size ratio will be same I will increase or decrease its size so just they have two tab a this is the increase font size and here it is the increase or decrease font size font size so if you just click here just see that your font size will be decreased but that's the ratio will be same okay and also if you increase that your font size will be increased but it will its ratio will be same so in that in that way we can just use our that two tools so if i just come here and i'll give a random size now suppose you need to blot that okay you need to blot blot that so just simply click here here just simply click here b just see here it's a blot and again if you want to remove that just simply click here. now they have a shortcut key just control b see that control b again and control b control b control b like that after that uh, just you want to make that font in italic form so just simply click here italic see that again select here now uh, suppose you need to underline view that text so just simply click here just here okay just simply click here or otherwise again click here to remove that now you need another types of um, the underline just see here they have many types of the double line the dash just see here they have many types of underline and also you can uh, get more underline from here just clicking here you can get to the more underline okay after that also you can change its color suppose if you use red just see that you will uh, get the red color so like that you can change it after that suppose um, you want to mark some text or you want, want to cross some uh, text just simply click here just see here your text will be crossed from here I mean uh, it's a line above it so after that suppose uh, if we go in next line now so when we work I mean uh, when we we'll, um, write for math or if we want to do anything for math so uh, they have some important part suppose uh, this is the X now I want to give two in below and above also I mean X square and X2 I mean I want to um, identify X1 X2 X3 like that so just simply click here okay simply click here and then write it one just see here and again click here then go next again give her X again simply click here and then give to like that way you can do it so again click here to out from that command so just again uh, if I give her X then just click here one then again click on it then X then click on it X square so like that way you can use that tool okay now what is it's actually so suppose uh, just select the text and from here you can change change its category okay you can change its category just see here in if I go down just enter just come here and see that sorry we have to select that just select and from here just select that shape okay your uh, text shape will be changed and also from here from here you can I use the color shadow they have different types of shadow okay so just see here they have different types of shadow it's the 3d view or many thing then is the reflection they have many types of reflection here actually so you can use that there's the glow so from here you can use any of it just see here okay so actually in this way you can use that tab after that suppose uh, you need to give the background color I mean back on that text just simply come here and give here it select the color okay just from here and you can give the color here actually like that so just simply click here and you will get the color here and again if you want to remove that just select and just come here and no color just see that 
now uh, just if you want to change the font color so I will change that just simply click here and from here select any color and here is the uh, standard color available here also you can select any of it and otherwise you can also change the more color so from here you can combine your color and also you can use the custom color at which color you require just uh, click any of, any of that font I mean any of that box and just from here adjust your color department and just press ok and just see here so I'll remove color from here automatic so in this way you can just uh, use that font tab okay I think um, it's okay to you um, that part okay so how will use um, that tools I have shown you that if you want to learn about that you can watch our previous video now I will show you about that paragraph uh, tools so on by one I will try to show you that suppose uh, first of all just say if I write something here sorry I've done something here suppose I'm just uh, writing here something okay so suppose this is a paragraph or something here I have write that so now uh, if I show here suppose this is your the line I mean your text limit in within that line okay so here is your line so just uh, if you click that option your align will be created from left side okay your left side will be level here if you create here your left side will be level just like that now suppose you if you uh, you want that your wall text will be in the middle align so just select them and click here okay center align just you see that your wall text will be in middle but uh, if you want that your text will uh, start from left align just simply click here and see that here is your left side align so like that your uh, align will be changed now uh, suppose if you want that your text will be from left align to right align and here from uh, left to right align uh, like as um, your textbook okay so just for that just you have to click here justify then see that your text are from that point to that point they are level and they are also level so when you will use that option and if you write that just see that uh, when you write that anything here just see it will create a justify line okay it will create justify line like that so I think it's okay now suppose here is a line and you want to move that in right direction okay you want to move that in right direction so for that you have to just click here they have two option here the first of uh, first is indent uh, indent and here is the also the, it is the increase indent and this is the decrease so just if you click on increase option just click here it will move like that okay according to your requirement you can move that and if you click in decrease in indent then it will move like that okay so uh, it's done done actually now here uh, suppose just uh, from here now suppose uh, you want to give a space between them I mean you want to uh, give more space between that line or here just select that suppose select that and you want to give a space between them okay you want to give a space between them so uh, for that just click here and from here select here is the identified scaling so just see here your uh, this is the one one point uh, one five one point five two like that just see here your spacing have increased now suppose uh, your other line will be 
same but uh, you, you want that your that line spacing will be very low okay so how will use that then you have to again come here and from here they have they have two option add a spacing before paragraph or remove a spacing after paragraph okay so just uh, then click here from that line it's remove now you have to come here again and from here sorry just come here and from here it's two okay so just give uh, sorry it's two okay and uh, now if you add suppose uh, you have you want to give you more a space just click here add a space before paragraph and add a space after paragraph just see that that line spacing is much more than other line it will be like that so suppose uh, if you give your line spacing one and only one line you want to give a spacing so i'll give that just click here and has a remove a spacing remove a spacing now you want to give a spacing here just add a spacing and here remove a spacing so like that way you can work here okay so then just uh, increase your line from here and also you can modify that according to requirement okay so from here after that uh, I will show you about that option okay so suppose uh, select that and from here give here the color and it will give you the color in your whole line okay I mean from left to right align it will give you color like that just select that and just uh, select like that so see it you can use that option I mean shading after that uh, here is the three important tools I will show you about that suppose you need line according to requirement I mean according to a uh, point so there have suppose if you directly click here okay bullets just click here just see here uh, right here something and enter right here something and enter right here something and enter just see here it will create the line like that so then give back a space back a space and it will remove so from here you can also use they have many option okay you can use according to requirement just see here they have many option just select it and write something like that okay just see it you can uh, change that like that way but uh, now suppose just to come here uh, press back a space now suppose uh, you need to use that according to according to your numbering like I could use your numbering so suppose e which types of number you want to use so every number is given here so from here you can select that suppose I will use a number one so just see here this is the one so like that just see that your numbering will be like that now suppose uh, they have another option and also you can change that okay also you can define new level format so from here also you can uh, select from here just see here they have many format any of format you want to select just uh, suppose first second third okay so from here you can select any format and just press ok it will be changed now they have another option so here is another option this is according to uh, your heading okay so when you use heading here uh, I'll show you about that change suppose also you can use that chapter 1 chapter 2 so just see that like that okay so just enter sorry so uh, when you write something here and if you select that sorry uh, if you select that and from here actually you can 
change that according to requirement just see here this article one two three four five so in this way you can change your that data and you can give the numbering uh, I'll just delete everything from here now I will just show you something uh, different so when uh, we start writing here something it's a start as normal so also suppose I have to write something here and also we can change that according to our requirement every time it will start like that when uh, when uh, when will start writing so there have um, its option so just right click here then click here modify modify so from here it's normal and our still f uh, and still for following paragraph it's also normal then uh, from here for font which types of uh, format you want to use suppose here I want to use format uh, like that otherwise uh, time neuro suppose like that and it will be uh, 11 and if you want to give her blood it will be blood and here uh, if you want to give underline in every line it will be underlined so I will and from here you, have, you can also give the color of it it will change its color suppose uh, if I give the red color okay right after that they have another option format so from here is the font if you just click here which types of font you want to wash and uh, want and have the font size okay has the underline uh, style uh, like that you can change it so cancel after that uh, paragraph is the important so here how can you s how can you use that actually I will show you that in later when I will show you that how will write a uh, thesis paper or journal paper in the way how we should uh, start and how we format or that word file so uh, then I will show you after completing this full tutorial of uh, Word, Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Excel. So uh, it's cancel after that press OK. So it is done. Then uh, this is heading one. So I will also change heading one so from here modify and from here you can give its color and everything and here is the important thing after a uh, completing heading one when we'll in press enter then in which category it will capture so here see that there have many option just will select normal after completing heading it will go in normal format okay and also you can change that after that here is the uh, format I will use time neuro and from here the format size I will give the blood and I will remove that and from here I'll give the color uh, suppose I'll give color in green so uh, it's done then press and also you can change here what do you record I will not change here so I'll press ok after that this is heading to modify just uh, I'll give th 30 I'll give here 40 ok and I'll give its color in different like that and also I'll remove that and give it blood so from here I'll select time new uh, time new Roman times new Roman so here uh, it's okay also I will also it will be in normal normal done and also you can change it here according to a requirement what you need actually so this pressed okay now I'll show that how will how it work now uh, suppose I need to give her a heading just you have to press here heading one suppose see that it's showing you chapter one like that and also if you modify that okay, if you modify that and also come here the paragraph so from here also you can uh, change according to level and according to needs then also come here and from here tab border language format numbering short text defect everything is available here actually so press ok and just give here your data otherwise suppose uh, you have write here something just come here in normal you have right here something okay like that and if you want to uh, convert that full line in heading so just click here heading chapter 1 also you can uh, give here a stop auto just you can you can right click here okay and you can click here adjust see the chapter okay so if you don't want to use that just remove that and press ok just see that it will not give anything suppose I'll give here 
introduction suppose this is your sorry this is your first uh, chapter of introduction now i will give a sub category i mean sub topic of it how i will give that sub uh, topic here uh, in heading 2 then it will be just see that this is a sub intro and when we will press enter then it will come it in normal so when we will write a start here so it will start like that so in this way actually you can control your text now here is the most uh, important thing here suppose uh, you are creating a thesis or journal paper now you need to change that format so uh, when you will see that you have to change the format for every topic okay, for uh, every line but when you will use that format uh, the heading 1 2 3 then you will be able to change that immediately suppose you want to change its normal format sorry I want to Z. suppose uh, you want to change its normal format just right click modify and change here color automatic press ok just see here the magic it will change it will change the your whole paper it will change so like that way you can use that now I will write something ok done So uh, they have OK done. Now they have some option find. Suppose you need to find some some word. You can click here the find and just give here uh, OK. Sorry, give here OK then enter. OK. After that, if you sorry, just write here OK. Now see that uh, it's showing us the one result here. OK. This is our one result. So you can find out that li uh, like that. Uh, now they have another option. Suppose uh, you want to change a word. I mean you want to replace a word. So how will replace that? For that, suppose you want to replace OK with yes. Like suppose like that. So just click here. Now uh, find out what. So you will find out OK and replace with yes. Just see here. So if you if you click here replace wall replace or replace all or find next so just i will if i click here replace wall and press yes just see that okay done one number complete then close just see here our yes change to i mean our okay change to yes in this lesson i'm going to discuss about um, use of microsoft insert option so how will use insert option now um, from here this is home tab and in a previous video I have shown you that how we we'll use that home tab and here everything I have shown you okay so in this lecture I am just sh uh, going to show that how we we'll use that full insert tab now first of all uh, I will show you about that cover page okay so what is cover page actually suppose you, ha you are writing a book or you are writing a journal or anything you are uh, doing here so you need a cover page so they have some ready-made cover page okay here available some ready-made cover page uh, that are already created and also you can uh, get more from microsoft office.com okay so from online you can also get many more suppose uh i just uh, want a cover page like uh so suppose like that i want to cover page this is my cover page so if i zoom out here actually so just see here so just see here this is my cover page so you can uh, change that picture also you can give here document title to the document subtitle after that here is the abstract you can change it your abstract here then uh, you can change give your name here actually okay the writer name or author name to the course title you can also give your course like that actually you can use that ready made oh cover cover page okay so uh, it's done now suppose uh, here and now you want to give a uh, page break here so for that just you have to click here page break now see that your page have moved in next and a new page new page come to preview so just if we mind uh, I mean back space to uh, remove that suppose from here from here actually 
now uh, after that uh, from here you will be able to write okay. so again can go here insert now suppose uh, here you need table okay here you need table so how will you use that so to insert table just click a table and in which direction I mean how number of column and how number of row are required just you can give it here now suppose uh, your required or limited table are not available here so for that you can go here draw table you can uh, draw table uh, manually or otherwise you can go here insert table and from here you can give the value here number of columns number of rows okay so in that way actually you can draw and also you can draw table so from sorry to draw just click a draw table and from here just click here like that then okay then just click here again sorry control Z again click here and also just like that you can uh, draw your table and also escape to uh, remove your command and from here also uh, if you take mouse you see a plus just you can also increase your row size like that so uh, again okay now uh, also click a draw table and from here sorry from here uh, you can draw the line just press your just come here and press your left mouse and move downward so like that way so like that like that okay so escape again so suppose uh, now here uh, double click here okay double click and from here you will be able to change your table format here from here uh, which types of format you want to take so from here you can also take your table format here okay so they have also you can uh, clear and new table format a style so from here you can take your table format from here actually so they have many table format actually here available so from here you can take your table format now again I'll go insert so uh, in this way you can uh, do it now um, now suppose you want to insert picture so to insert picture just click here picture and mm, go to your file and from here suppose I want to insert that picture so just like that here is your picture now suppose um, you want to move your picture in any direction so to move your picture just when you will uh, just press your left mouse and try to move it will not move actually so to move your picture just uh, click on your picture and then here you will find that option just click here and there are more option okay so squared then tight so I will always use tight and from here you can move that picture in any direction okay anywhere actually you can move your uh, picture in anywhere in any direction like that okay so in that way you can uh, download I mean you can insert your picture here for your any purpose of work so again I will go in next page I'll go here insert so after that uh, here they have uh, another option shape okay so suppose you want to insert any kinds of shape from here okay so just click here and press your mouse right I mean left click your mouse and insert that so here also you can move it like that also you can move it like that so in this way you can uh, drop any I mean any formats I mean uh, from here any shape okay so suppose uh, suppose you want to record the rounded rectangle so just click here I mean a uh, left click and move your mouse so and press your mouse I mean a uh, release your mouse then see that so in this way you can just do it so it's done then I'll go again in new face press enter so here is a new page and I'll go insert so after that here is a, a smart art what is the smart art actually suppose you want to f uh, create a flow diagram or anything then how will you use 
just here there have many, many flow diagram actually okay according to recruitment you can use any of it that is the flow diagram so suppose uh, the list from the list diagram this is the process with the circle here they have many flow diagram available here and also you can find more from the office.com okay from office.com you can get more diagram so suppose here wall just if you click here suppose uh, you need to the types of flow diagram okay just uh, click here and press okay just see here here is a flow diagram and also you can give her text just see here here it is after that you can also give her text okay just like that way also you can uh, double click here uh, and also you can write it here anything write it here write it here so this is one kinds of flow diagram okay so from uh, that all uh, level to that that level to that here here and also double click here and also you can change that flow diagram just see that here from here you can also change it like that way. just see here see here and here okay just see here you can change your flow, flow diagram like that way okay there are also sub style how can you uh, modify that okay so from here you can also use your sub style and they have many more okay from here just see here there is a sub style so I'll go again I'll close that and here from here actually I'll go about uh, insert now uh, here so after that here they have another option hyperlink okay links so how will actually create links actually suppose uh, you need a link okay you need a link so how will you use that just click here link and there the existing file or web page there a uh, page in title then here a uh, create new document then here an email address so like that just uh, first of all I'll go here and also they have some option suppose uh, they have a existing file now I want to uh, use any file suppose I want to open our that file ext okay and to give her or I mean I want to create or uh, that file ext uh, then press ok and from here actually uh, it's also ok so also you can give her name uh, here yeah, yeah your display name will be like that and also your file will be like that so just press ok now see here this is your this is your display name just press control and click here. Oh, sorry sorry right click select and delete that just uh, click here hyperlink and you have to just select that and after that uh, this is the address the address line will be same actually and you'll be able to change your text to display okay ASD okay I'm giving that name actually just press ok see this is ASD okay just uh, press your control and click here just see here this is your file here it, it will open here directly and also you can use hyperlink here just click here hyperlink and also right by right clicking there and also you can give here your address what will be your address you can give your any uh, email address suppose yt dot com slash school of civil engineering school of civil engineering then uh, display name will be YouTube YouTube channel then press ok just see here this is a YouTube channel just uh, left click I mean sorry uh, press control and click here. Specified, sorry if I go here remove the hyperlink what is the problem here actually so if I come here hyperlink address and from here y 
on page heading bookmark stop uh, so from here actually uh, suppose you can also find out any link from here actually so from here I will not use that so uh, just you can give your link here actually and here you can give your name after that you can go there and uh, actually uh, browser and here also you can use your browser page and here also the recent page okay also you can add your email address here just uh, email address here email address then subject then recently used email address here and here give your uh, text to display then it will work here like that way so here is the actually a uh, link option that how will how we can use that link option so in a previous video here is our insert option here and I have show till that link now I will show you about the header and uh, footer then the text okay then the symbol I will use that so suppose our uh, what is the header footer and page number suppose you want to give some title on top then just click here and here you will uh, found many option okay you will found many option here and according to requirement you can choose that suppose uh, I want to give that option or that option just here just see here here is your and also you can write here uh, just change your color from here uh, you can change your color and you can write that uh, before that and I just want to show you here is the another thing that uh, our header top and header bottom so what will be the value here actually so you can uh, increase or decrease that like that way okay so also uh, you can increase that like way so just see that it will uh, go top okay so I'll just give it as as usual so like that way just double click here and see that it's here now you can just write here okay after that um, sorry I'll go ahead now for footer also you can uh, insert the footer or anything here actually according to requirement suppose uh, if I click here just see here it's available here now you can uh, actually type here what you require to uh, write just like that way okay just see here in that way you can and after that double click that body just see here it's okay after that again here page number actually oh you can add page number for here so to add page number so I'll just double click here control a and I'll delete that I'll double click here and also I'll delete that just now now I will add the page number here so go insert and from here page number okay so where you want to give your page number top page here I mean top of page so they have many option in top of page okay so you can add bottom of page like here page margin okay so it's left left side or right side then the current position okay. so uh, here also you can change its uh, format page okay so also you can remove that uh, just I'll give it bottom so just uh, like that in left side just see here here is your page number okay so like that you can add your page number here just see here uh, now if you go in next page just go to the next place and see here it's available here this is the page number two so in this way we can add our page number so again if we go here now uh, they have another box text box okay so if we come here here's the text box uh, this is also same as our cover page like that so from here actually you can add any kinds of shape I mean any kinds of font from here according to requirement so suppose uh, I want to insert that just click here now see that here is me and also you can move that and also uh, we can write here what you need just like that okay so also we can write that here according to our requirement so also sorry 
here just see here you can write it here and also here the I mean uh, actually you can uh, insert that like according to requirement okay so I'll delete that again I'll go insert then here quick parts okay so what is the quick parts actually it is the auto text so here you can add uh, your some specific text that will add on your paper so actually this is not more important now so I'll come here word art suppose you want use um, different types of word arts so you can use that suppose if I use uh, like that okay so from here just if I write it here control a to select all then school of civil engineering sorry school of civil engineering like that so also uh, if you double click here it will come here and also you can change your shape here actually okay so according to requirement you can change that from here and also you can uh, change this change its color so from here uh, this is the text field just see here you can change your color also you can change the outfill of the text just like that okay outfill of the text you can like that and also you can uh, give the color on your box so if you can come here shape fill just see here you can also give your shape fill but uh, now it's no fill and also you can give outfill just like that okay and also you can increase its depth like that okay so you can use that option like that way and also you can uh, increase here like that or decrease that line also you can uh, increase or decrease that line in that way okay so also you can rotate that here from here just uh, rotate 90 degree like that actually so okay you can rotate that like that so I think uh, it's okay and also you can use that position where you want to use that okay so where you want to use that you can uh, select your position so like that way you can use at your text and also you can uh, select your text effect so just see here you can they have huge amount of effect you can also use your text effect so if I increase that just see like that now again if we go insert so uh, it's done and there have signature line time and date object uh, I think you'll be able to use that very easily this time and date so you can use the time and date according to requirement so I'll just not use that now here is the most two important part equation and symbol equation and symbol suppose uh, you need some equation or you need to make a question of mathematics so you need some symbol so how will insert that symbol so well, suppose uh, you need beta okay so from here just come here and see here this is the beta just click here here is your beta sorry I will go home and I will remove underline so just see here if I its size just see here here is your beta sorry here is beta now uh, again come here insert so go sample suppose uh, you need some here is omega ohm sorry so here like that again come here and give it space and again come here this is the alpha okay so like that you can actually add according to requirement but uh, suppose the symbol required that is not here so just click here uh, more symbol and from here you can found your any record symbol from here okay any record symbol from here just uh, simply click here and find your symbol from here actually so in this way you can find that and also you can use that so just suppose theta then uh, select on on of it then insert close just see here it's available here so like that way you can actually uh, do that so again press enter now suppose uh, so if I go in next page now uh, you need some equation so how will you use that just our uh, click here and here they have some equation you can use that so if you think that your equation is not available here okay if 
you think that your equation is not available here and you need to create that just uh, double click on it okay or on click on it just see here it's everything is available here so they have more sample that is required simply for uh, mathematical requirement just here after that this is for function suppose uh, which types of data you require so you can use that okay, from here suppose you need uh, that types of function just click here sorry then give here a value okay to by suppose 5 like that okay so you can give it here and then equal to you can also give here equal to now you need a new function just again go insert then click here okay so from here uh, suppose you want to give something new just select any of it here from here or uh, according to your record mean you can select the suppose that I will give her e sorry I'll give her e and here I'll just like that so actually uh, you can insert your equation like that way okay so you can make your equation okay so I can go if you go insert and in this lesson I'm going to show you that how we'll use our design section and also layout uh, section of Microsoft Word so first of all I'll open a word file and uh, directly I'll go to here design section I have the first you know first lecture actually I have discussed about uh, that all terms that I will use that terms then I have used about that terms I will use the terms and now I'm going to dis uh, discuss about the design sector so actually uh, there I have three basic elements okay. uh, so if I go in next page suppose here there have some title okay there have some uh, title box where actually we can use I mean uh, which we can use uh, here suppose you want to write some article so you can use any of its article from here okay so also they have theme about which types of theme you want to use for your article so from here you can uh, take from here suppose just click here and uh, from here if you take any of that article just uh, see here it has changed according to uh, I mean uh, according to its heading according to its title uh, actually everything will be changed so you can use that if you write anything here okay sorry so after that uh, mainly I will just uh, show you about something that's three page background okay about that three topics so if I delete that stories are one page and from here actually I will show you about page background okay so from here if you see that it's base background so I will uh, from here I will see you about watermark how we will give watermarks on our page then how we will use page color I mean change our page color and also how we will uh, give the page border okay so first of all I will come here uh, for watermark just click here on watermark and see here they have some uh, ready made watermark but you can change that this is for uh, confidential and uh, this is uh, for confidential and uh, also they have another this is the disclaimer so from here actually uh, here uh, just if you simply click here just see here a background text are here so if you just write here just uh, come here just if you write here okay so if you write here it will be above on it just see it if you it will be above on it but uh, we can change that and we can modify that okay so according to our requirement so suppose uh, to modify it just you have to go here this is uh, custom and also you can remove that by clicking here and also custom watermark so just simply click here and to move it that side so from here they have no watermark so if you apply the watermark will be removed after that text watermark also you can use picture watermark so to provide picture watermarks just from here you have to select a picture and it will be on your text background so after that here's the text 
from here uh, the a style okay text a style so what will be the text is that confidential or anything from here so i'll select the confidential and the font okay and from here just uh, you have to give it the font this is the font and actually uh, from here we have to change it so which text you want to use as your background just you have to change it from here so i will just uh, change it from here like uh, i will give here here actually i will just give here suppose a uh, school of civil engineering okay so school of civil engineering then uh, from here th you can change also the font so there are huge amount of font uh, you can change it from here actually so the size okay so from here you can also uh, select the size from here but uh, always use auto it will uh, customize for the maximum size then have from here color so which color you want to use actually here in your background so uh, at the this uh, that given color is okay because uh, it will be uh, the perfect combination with your text background so they have two options horizontal or diagonal so this is the diagonal and if you use horizontal your uh, that I mean your that uh, watermark will be in diagonal I mean in horizontal direction so I'll use in diagonal then press apply just see here head is your background watermark so school of civil engineering here s o c -E. so like that you can use your watermark actually here so after that if you come here the paste color so from here actually uh, if you just click here no color will be available here but you can change your paste color just see here so from here according according to your requirement you can give the paste color okay so here you can give your paste color the which color you want to give here so you can give here your paste color okay from here you can give your paste color actually so uh, after that uh, after that we'll just go for paste border so just click here for paste border and uh, from here you can give the paste border according to requirement okay so just uh, if you select that this is none so here for here if you say that this is about box okay so just uh, after that click here just see here here is your paste border okay so just again come here and uh, from here actually uh, you can give here the color for your paste border okay suppose uh, if you give here the green color and uh, also if you can increase its width I mean uh, the line width suppose if you give here like that okay so here and also apply to whole document and also you can uh, select here according to requirement this this section only or this section uh, fast page only this section to wall except first page so like that you can uh, give the border so from here actually and also you can go that option and from here okay so you can use that margin okay top margin bottom margin and here you can actually change that according to your requirement so just press ok ok just see here here is your page margin okay so uh, in this way just you can use your page border now um, if we go here for layout so just uh, see here in layout they have some option this is margin okay so actually what will be what will be the your text writing limitation okay uh, suppose here is a box and uh, just see here when we if we write here just see here and press enter your text are uh, starting from that line okay just see here your text is starting from that line that means this is your margin level to uh, if I go till that side uh, just see here what happened sorry just now just see here and in that side this is your page margin so you can also increase decrease that so how will increase decrease that just simply click your margin and from here uh, it's Th that is a selected so it's showing um, just see here is the the selected one normal so it's showing uh, it's taking in every side top left top bottom left right it's one is so also you can uh, increase that just simply click here just see here okay so also your line will be increased in that side sorry just see here uh, from that point to that point in this way you can use your margin and also uh, you can customize that from here you can customize that and uh, you can change your uh, required data actually okay so just press ok after that 
this is they have another option orientation okay in orientation this is the two option portrait and landscape so just uh, seeing that face your uh, you have understand that so if I zoom out that just see here uh, this is our, this is the format of our portrait and if you use landscape just it will be move like that way okay so uh, from here we'll use that now here's the size here is the uh, I mean your page size what will be your page size so, so simply this is the a4 size and actually this is the well used size so from here this is the you can also change your page size so from here I uh, actually we used that page size as later but uh, it's good to use your page size before uh, starting it work because uh, when you go for printing then maximum time your page will be in a4 size I mean your text will be in a4 size I mean printing page will be a4 size so uh, your page will not be messed with that so after that here the columns so actually what is that what is that suppose here um, is a one line in a page but if you need that suppose uh, if you follow some books they have different types of text column okay so you can use also use that just simply click here if you want to create two columns just see here there is one columns and another column is that side okay so actually if I write here just if I go in another side just see here uh, actually just see here here is a one column set and here is a another column but you can also do uh, manage it in three columns so I will use that just simply come here and this is for three columns just see here so if you finish that when you will finish that uh, simply sorry when you will finish that simply it will start from here so just see here it will start from here so in this way you can manage your columns after that here is the break what is actually the break they have uh, many options this is the page break and this is the next page okay so uh, actually suppose you have write here something and uh, you are trying to text in upper page or bottom page actually I will show you about that when I will show you that how will you manage a uh, word file for our thesis writing or for our paper writing so in this then I will show you about that okay so uh, actually what is that actually so if you use that simply just come here okay simply come here and click here page break what is the meaning of page break just see that when uh, you have used that point as your page break the text will go to in next page I mean here it will give a break after that uh, it will not uh, write here anything just you will give a break so if we go control Z and just if you just click here and come here here page break just see here it's have created a new page uh, now here is the most important thing is suppose uh, here you are writing something here you are writing something here it will not move to that page uh, the element of I mean text of that page will be available in only that page it will not move in another page okay or uh, suppose you're writing here something if I show you that suppose uh, if I show you that if you're uh, writing here something just see here okay it's moving in that page okay, it moving in, moving in that page but when you will use has the next page okay there's the page break and here is the next next page I mean when it is the point of page break but when you use that option just suppose that option okay when you will write here actually it will not go to that page when you will write here it will not go to that page it will create a new page this is actually the page page break and it will be clear to you when you will use that and um, actually what is that? what is that it is just simply uh, the value of its movement okay so you can uh, move move it like that actually uh, that was the total uh, option of our design and layout as we have started Microsoft Word tutorial series and this is its last part I mean uh, we have completed 
about uh, every topics I mean every options of Microsoft Office I mean Microsoft Word so this is its last part and here I will discuss about the references option so that is our previous art file okay so this is the previous art file actually so uh, here I will today discuss about references okay. so so now uh, actually I will just delete everything from here now actually what is that references here uh, we can add table uh, I mean content of table and then content of figure okay suppose um, when you will see a book then you will find uh, something here like uh, some headlines or some some references or anything so you can use here I mean you can use here that by using that option so how will you use that suppose uh, if we go home and from here suppose I will write here something just from here just if we use heading one okay so and also I'll give here this is for heading one okay so from here go next then go for heading two and here also I'll give some heading two and uh, I'll give heading three suppose this is our some text and also again I'll give here heading uh, heading then here I'll give a subheading again okay so again I'll give here a uh, again subheading so like that so just uh, see here and also page number given and here is suppose this is a topic and it is a subtopic and this is again uh, subtopics it's sub subtopics that is so now I'll just uh, use here uh, go to layout and from here break and from here next page so okay it's here now uh, in that page actually so, uh, here here actually I will use the references so how will use that actually so table of content so just cl simply click here and from here select on any of it okay so I'll just uh, suppose select the second one now see here here you will found the table like that okay so here is a table uh, with page number I and mean table of content so just see here go to home and if you come here just see here this is the table of content actually um, when you will write a uh, books then you will get that now suppose uh, again if you write here something to sorry uh, heading like that so suppose here another heading uh, th heading 3 here like uh, and also give it heading 2 and also give it heading 3 and also I have shown you that how will change that heading and how will use that in a previous video you can watch that so suppose here now uh, again how will uh, get that data here just simply click here update table and update page number only update enter table so what you actually want so here update enter table just press ok now see that it's also available here so actually in that way uh, we can identify we can uh, done our content of table now I'll see you the another thing suppose uh, I'll go here insert and from here picture I'll insert a picture just simply from here insert a picture suppose uh, X here is a picture now we will just right click and from here we will insert caption okay so figure this is the figure number uh, that will be the figure number this is the figure and uh, below the item okay above the item and below the event so I'll give the below the item just press okay so I'll just uh, delete that zoom it then this is your page number 2 ok and here I'll click here insert caption and from here figure exclude level caption or here so also they have another option numbering uh, with uh, okay heading one with respect to heading one then press ok after that 
press caption now right here your figure name just see here suppose this is your figure name okay and uh, just simply you can change that just simply select that or you can change it okay and also you can change that and you can uh, blood it and after that come here just see here here is a figure actually okay and also you can change its color just to change its color come here automatically so here is its figure now uh, they have one two three four five the huge amount of figure here so how we'll just uh, uh, create a table for your figure actually so just uh, simply come here okay just simply come here and to go to references and from insert table of figure okay insert table of figure just simply click here and from here uh, they have many way okay so from here they have many way actually you can uh, use none or the many way actually here after that show page number right align page number then include level number write that so actually you can use that and also you can modify that from here according to requirement so after that option so from here you can also can change the option then after that press ok just see here here is the figure and uh, this is the figure okay and is the number figure number three I mean number page number of page three and the figure name is SOC just like that way you can use your that uh, figure and also that table okay so again uh, suppose uh, again if I come here and if I insert another table another picture from here actually so here another picture then right click insert then simply press ok and give her some just anything okay so just select that edit that according to requirement so I will just give her authentic and also give them in middle sorry in middle so it's done actually okay then click here oh uh, you can save that so uh before saving that just go here and now see here there is only one figure actually okay so how i'll do that just uh click here and go here references then update table just click here update page number only enter table just simply see here this is the figure number 3.1 figure number 3.2 just so like that you can actually done your work here uh, in this way actually so I think and also you can remove the I mean you can select that control a sorry control a like that way and from here you can also remove your like that way you can remove your underline also so just see here in this way and also simply give here a name yeah, the table of table of figure just give its name here and also select that from here increase that and from here select that so just uh, see here how it is so from here actually you can uh, use your data and anything also so from here it is possible to do it so I think uh, it's clear to you and uh, now you know that how we'll use table of content on figure and also you can uh, use that as a table okay suppose uh, you have some table and also you can uh, do it for your table so thank you and if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to uh, our channel and also if you are a civil engineer then must subscribe to our channel because this channel is only for civil engineer and in this channel they have many they have many many video that are related to our uh, civil engineering knowledge and uh, they have software related video so in our next video I will just uh, start showing you that how will work in Microsoft PowerPoint okay so as a engineer this is very very important cause uh, also every terms 
we face some presentation or some differences so that's why it's very very required so thank you thank you very much s12 st connected to next video